Yo, shout out to the most high. It's always the highest you win our lower status LDs. Also known Lawrence the One for another episode of I Need to Know and my special guest. Introduce yourself, man. Con B, man. Bow. <laughs> Check this out, man. Mr. Con B, I have to ask you this question before we even get started. Yes, sir. I asked all my guests, how did you get your name? Man, it is really um my brother Ron B, he had passed or whatever, and I was going through stuff where I was trying to figure out my name with rapping and stuff, and I just stuck with Con B. Okay. His name was Ron B. So. But why Con though? Um, my 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 real name. It's short for my real name. Okay, gotcha. Luck Con. <laughs> okay, Luck Con. <laughs> That's the first time they ever known, probably man, on Fame Media, man. That is some ghetto <laughs> shit, Luck <laughs> Con. So let's start with the L. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the other See, look, We ain't finna start this, man. <laughs> hey, hey, but uh, sorry with the L, though, for sure. For sure, man. Well, I'm the other L, brother. Oh, man. Okay, hey, hey. On, <laughs> you know what I'm about to say, right? What's going on? I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. We here, man. For sure, man. So, we here. For so, okay, so this is what I want to know. Con B. Yes, sir. Okay, so you kind of named after your brother. This is what I want to know. When you was in the process of figuring out all these names, Tell me about some of the other names that you picked. Uh, it was really Khan, nothing at the end. It was Conrad, somebody gave me. Um, shout out Mike Mike. Um, and it's just really out of them three that I could say. It was just really out of them three. And um, I always just stick with the Khan B, Khan B, Khan B. And then um, I wasn't taking music seriously. I was just doing it. Like we started off with um, Sock on the Mic, you know what I'm saying? Uh, with Ray Dale, whatever, shout out Ray Dale. But, um, and then I just, when he passed, I just stuck with Con B. Okay. It was Ron B. And then I took music serious. Gotcha. Now, and what? Here now. now, this is what I want to know. Where are you from, man? Where you? Where, where we at, man? man I, I, I'm from the <laughs> East, man. Sabrandy Park, man, to be exact. But I'm from East Oakland, though. Sabrandy Park? Yes, sir. Man, uh, Chris Lockett. That's where man, Chris Lockett that's from. Boy, Legendary man. Chris that's Lockett, boy, man. man. Shout out to CL, man. Man, Chris is a shout cool one. Man, man, shout out to Chris, man. Shout out to Kevin Man, Lockett, I seen you man. doing your thing for Ramadan, man. Keep it up, man. And if you put together a moss, man, I'll come see you. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Hebrew, but I got to come see ya. He doing his thing, though, man. He been doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? And for sure, shout out to Chris Lockett. And is that where Ricky from, too? Ricky yeah, at? Rick, Ricky Styles, um, Blue Fetty. We got uh, four way she's free four way she's. Uh, we got Young Roll. We got Brick Money. We got a couple hitters out there, Sabrandy man. Okay, for sure. sure. Y'all should throw a party, a, a concert for Eleven Five Day. Man, we gotta get together for sure, for sure, man. What's up, Sabrandy? Nigga, let's do something, man. Big ass Sabrandy show or something, man. That'll be dope. Will it be dope for sure? For sure, man. So talk about how it was, man, growing up in the legendary Sabrandy Park. Um, it was just really. Um, Reckless, um, learning how to be street, shit like that. Learning how not to snitch, learning how to sell dope, you know what I'm saying? Going through trials and tribulations, getting my ass beat, whooping niggas, and all type of shit like that, you feel me? Up until my brother J-Way passed, and then we uh, moved out of Sabrandy. And then that's when the family was just like, stay away from that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know. <laughs> you, know what's so, you know what I like about the ghetto? Good advice comes in many forms, like stay away from that hey, motherfucker. Man, for real, I mean, <laughs> And I always been the type of nigga, you feel me? Ain't nothing gotta happen to me for me to listen. You feel me? Like I always listen to the motherfuckers that was here before me. You know, what, you know what? That's a dope thing to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little hard headed. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta really learn. You know what I'm saying? You know, I gotta, I gotta learn. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, we we all hard headed, but it, you know what I'm saying? In, in life, you make choices. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I'd have been here if I'd have still been like wild as I was. You feel me? Like, Got gotcha. you. My son really slowed me down. You said a son? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How old is he now? Um, he's twelve. Um, I'm actually a, um, I had him since he was six months. Like no mother, like she don't call. Like no birthdays, no nothing. You feel me? I've been raising him since he was six months. You know what I'm about to ask next, right? What's going on? Are you getting child support? No, I ain't. I, I would. I didn't even move that bitter to be honest. To be one hundred. Okay, so I want to press pause on that because this is getting better by the moment. Now, you know what I'm about to say, right? You know what I'm about to say? What's up? I like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, for real though, man. <laughs> hey, I thought about it last year though. I'm like, damn, this nigga 12 years old. You feel me? Like, she don't call no birthdays, no nothing. No, I'm not exaggerating. I'm not just sitting on there on no podcast talking on no nothing. No birthdays, no nothing. No help with no nothing, no nothing. And that shit get to me sometimes. You feel me? Like, 
Yeah. Especially trying to do a career, you feel me? Like, I just ain't never really up and left because of the responsibilities that I got with him, you feel me? Like, gotcha. You know what I'm saying? I could have been left, you know, went to L.A., Atlanta somewhere, or took him and been homeless with him, and then worked it out, figured it out, but, you know what I'm saying? I done stayed there and held it down. Man, my, my hat goes off to you, man. Sure, right on, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is what I want to ask you real quick about the dope game. Mm. How old were you when you seen your first piece of dope? Well, shit, I'm going to say like this. I was like 12. It was heroin and shit. They used to um, bag it up around us and shit, but my first knock was a decoy. <laughs> and I was so young and so small, the police took the shit, left Came back and arrested the wrong nigga. You feel me? And that's how so. Wait, 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 wait. Slow down now. You know what I'm saying? What? Yes. Came back and arrested the wrong nigga. That's how innocent and small and young I was looking. Or I don't know if they were just waiting. Oh, so it was that night? It wasn't even that night, bro. Okay. He wouldn't didn't look like me, no nothing, unless he was just a nigga because he was grinding out there already. You feel me? With um some of my niggas and shit. Unless they had just already wanted his little dumb ass, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. But for the most part, they took him in. And he was trying to call home. And, oh, tell him, take this case. Tell him, take this case. And my brother, Jay, like, man, you got him fucked up. He's 12 years old. Get the fuck off my phone. Tell him I'll take a case. Yeah. You feel me? And that was that. Okay. Well, that was cool. That that worked out one way. <laughs> for I, sure. I, I, hey, when that happened, I know what you was thinking. You know what you was thinking? <laughs> Shit, nigga, I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, anything <laughs> for real? And I'm like, shit, hey, but they didn't, they didn't let me touch no more after that though. They were like, shit, fuck all that, man. I had to learn. Yeah. So they didn't let me touch no more after that. Then I started running with some niggas and shit like that, and then from there I went um with PJ over there on 80 and shit was grinding and shit. Then we went to um 23rd East 19th was fucking with Moose till Moose went to jail and then shit left the block to me. I was like 16 grinding on 23rd East 19th. Okay. Damn, so so you you just all you you from the some of the coldest turfs in the in the in the town. How you feel about that's, that? That's why I got so much love, bro. Like yeah. I've been everywhere out and grinding with these niggas, going to school with these niggas, fighting with these niggas, all type of shit. You feel me? Like real East Oakland, real. You real East Oakland? Yeah. I'm not just rapping. I'm not just saying <laughs> it. I'm not just here on the podcast today. <laughs> None of that. Okay. Okay. Shop, shop. So, okay, so this is what I want to know. When did you start rapping? Um, I started rapping when I was young and shit. I just wasn't taking it serious, man. Raps was horrible. Um, it was probably the hyphy movement. I want to say I was 13, 14, 15. Yep. And then um, just rapping about dumbass shit. Go dumb on the bus. Go dumb on the bus. <laughs> dumbass you shit. Know, you, know, you know what's so funny about you saying that? Some people would t- take that shit offensive. <laughs> if you said that, then. Man, that shit was horrible, bro. That shit was horrible, bro. Like, that shit was horrible. You know, Mac Dre is a motherfucker, though. Mac Dre but was we so. we wasn't on no Mac Dre level, bro. Like, yeah. It was sock on the mic. Uh-huh. So imagine that. Yeah, yeah. A sock on the mic. You kid, go dumb in the. Oh, yeah. And then you just turn the volume up, turn it on, and. You tell your partners, yeah, this slap like looking at you crazy, like, yeah, turn this shit off. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I just came up with a uh with a question. If Mac Dre was a comic book villain, who would he be? Dizzle Washington? Nope. Who? The Joker. <laughs> no, you gotta give him Thizzle Washington. But you that's gotta not- give him because he has so many characters. Yeah. No, I'm just saying, like, if he was a comic book if character. he was one Like of, a villain, yeah. We got to give him his own one. That's I, how I many characters he had. That's real, that's real. That's how many characters he had. That's real. <laughs> you know, but I'm just, but I got to, when I'm talking, right, I got to put it in general for the people that's at home looking at it. The Marvel, the Marvel. You know, because we, we made eight in Liberia, so they got to be able to connect <laughs> this shit with that shit. Facts. You know Facts. what I'm saying? Facts. He would have to be the Joker. True. He was tall, energy, slim. All that shit. Just the energy, silly, you know what I'm saying? Cat off and all but, that type of but, shit. But 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 see, some people, right? I've seen some people like actually, you know, like do the Mac Dre thing, mm-hmm. but it don't have the same effect. You know why? Because if you're not dangerous. Yeah, they, you have to be dangerous to be Mac Dre. Yeah. You know, you gotta be a ladies' man, dangerous with with the jokes, but you gotta be dangerous, Daredevil. nigga. Daredevil. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Mac Dre, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace. 
Sure. So speaking of Mac Dre and some of the legends and things of that nature, where did you get your biggest inspiration from to start rapping? My biggest inspiration was from um it was really from um like down south and stuff like that to be one hundred with you. Because it was just um I grew up on mute the box. There you go. <laughs> so you feel me? So you know the box. That you man. <laughs> there you go. Remember, remember that man. Uh, uh, who else? Uh, uh, ain't nothing like the town. The town. I know yeah. you like that. Oh but yeah, for sure. I for sure. <laughs> we for sure was off all that. But I was more on some like, bro. I really wanted to rap, rap. Okay. Yeah, my sisters and brothers used to sit in the room in the um, living room and create the dances. Mace, okay. Mace, come on. Yeah, and, yeah. Oh, you feel me? Like yeah. really on some cat shit. You feel me? Like, and to that day, I wanted to do music, music. Yeah. Saying like I don't see myself as a regular rapper, regular street rapper. No, I, I want to be worldwide. I want to impact people. You feel me? Even the shit I talk about, it's not no dissing people. It's not no just rapping. You feel me? It's messages and it's 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 messages and it's lightweight, lyrical, and it's street. It's where everybody can gravitate to it. Somebody okay. with sense, somebody that doesn't have sense, a kid, a grown up, whatever. You feel me? So we riding in the car with my grandmother. What mm -hmm. three songs could you play where she ain't gonna be like, who the hell is this? Black Queen drops Mother's Day. Um what was the other one? I got this feeling. And then also Wobble. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Cause granny might like to turn up. So we gotta give her something to laugh hey, with. Hey, hey, Feel it, me? It, it can't be all just detrimental, you know what I'm saying? You know what it'd be crazy if granny heard the music and you know what it'd be crazy if she said this? I like, like that. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, thing. I got you, Granny, for real. I got you, Granny. Hey, thing. So how many albums you got? Uh I want to say about seven. Seven? Yeah, I want to say about seven. Okay, so hypothetically speaking, say like you backstage, you know what I'm saying, with one of your favorite rap icons, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And he say, hey, man, who in here can rap? You know what I'm saying? Because I got my new artist, and they going to play their song, and everybody like, this shit tight. Then they pick you. What song you going to put of yours or put against that shit? I'm going to play uh, Fire. Fire? Fire, Future, and Mozzie. And that's just because of the way w the, the song is so impactful. You know what I'm saying? So I think a lot of motherfuckers will gravitate to that. Yeah, speaking of Mike. room at that time. I think a lot of people will gravitate towards that song in the room at that time just because of the feeling of the song, the impact of the song. is like a soundtrack. Okay, okay. You know so you worked with Mozzie? Yeah, for sure. Were you in the studio with him? No, nah, no, nah, I sent it to him. I sent it to him. Okay. Talk about some of the uh, more up up artists that you actually work with actually in the lab um actually in the lab capolo um who else had a little blood um shout out to little blood it's been a couple that i can't name but the biggest ones i it wasn't in the lab because you know they time and it's yeah everything. definitely so i had to send a track and then wait for their time to be honest with you though gotcha you know I, I don't rush people i don't hey come to oakland i don't you know what I'm saying anywhere I could get it done is the way I could get it done. Yeah, dope, you know what dope, saying? dope. So, what is your biggest? Me and Fredo Bang, though. We shot the video Ooh. together, though. Me and Fredo Bang. Okay. In Miami. Yeah, okay. better days. Yeah. Okay. And that's like the biggest one that the whole song done been finished and everything. Shout out to Fredo Bang. Though. Is that your biggest song to date? Uh, no, my biggest song to date is Impress Me. Yep. And then second behind that is Yo Baby Daddy. Okay, well. Talk about impress me. Then we going to get into your baby daddy. <laughs> we going to get into your baby daddy because you somebody baby daddy. <laughs> and don't think I forgot. <laughs> hey, but impress me though. Um, it just really came from having fun. Um, the energy at the time. My cousin Blue Fetty was just really getting back into the music. So we just in there catting all vibe. And I'm like, man, we can't think too hard, man. We just got to say anything. We just got to have fun. And that's what we came with. Impress me, man. They reach, um. 164 or something, 164 on top, top 200 in, um iTunes charts. Um, okay. Oh so, yeah. Yeah. So you got some, you got some shit that you could actually reflect about. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Man, I'm just waiting on my little um, iTunes plaque so I can really stunt. Man. Now, what about this Yo Baby Daddy song? How did you, how did you cook that up? I'm really just now bringing that back. You feel me? It was in 2018. The crazy part about it now that I'm here with you and you're talking about it, it was the same. It was just the same feeling going in there having fun, saying anything. 
I actually didn't like the beat. Rest in peace to um, Piggy. He made the beat. But I had actually, um, he was just throwing me off beats because he like, bro, I love your style. You feel me? You, you feel me? You pushing. And I, and I want to fuck with you. Yeah. So he shot me a beat. Then he took it back. He like, man, you know I got Jay Stalin, bro. Whoop, 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 whoop. I think Stalin don't even know this, bro. And then he like, I'm going to shoot it to Stalin. And I'm like, damn, you feel me? Like, all right, yeah, you know I'm saying he is the bigger name. You know, I understand. You feel me? Plus, I'm not paying for it. Yeah. So he shot me the beat to your baby daddy. I was like, oh, man, I don't like this shit, man. This shit is weak. Like, you feel me? Yeah. Like, I can't. It's not weak, but I can't get into it. You feel me? Like, yeah. I can't write to it. I'm a writer. You feel me? I can't get into it. I can't write to it. And then. And then I'm watching the um, Migos, I forgot what uh, podcast it was. It, um, they're like, yeah, man, the, you know what I'm saying? Versace song, we just went there and had fun. That's why people think we don't say nothing. We just go in there, we don't say, we don't write. We just go in there, we have fun. We just do what we do, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. the music come out better like that. Yeah. So I'm like, huh, let me try this shit, man. You feel me? And that's the first time I ever just had fun on the mic. And I came out with your baby daddy, Louis Belt, um, Sonny Bo in the video, Jerry Law in the video. You know what I'm saying? Um, just had some comedians in there catting off, you feel me? And then just it's just basically talking about how boosty baby daddies is. You know what I'm saying? Like, gotcha. They ain't there for their kids. She like yeah. that. And I put it in a funny perspective. And then the hook is re, uh, remixed from the um, juvenile. That's that nigga that stay shining. He ain't. Your baby daddy boozy. That's that nigga that stay broke. He ain't got no money. His pocket stay on flat. He always bumming. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. And yeah. I just started to bring it back because I just did a show with Ply. Shout out to Bay Stars. And the crowd went crazy. You feel me? Like all them niggas. And they like, bro, where that song got, bro? You need to put that out, bro. You need to. And I'm like, damn, this shit was released in like 2017. Well, good music is good music. But I was sleeping. We 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 intend to keep putting out music to where we move too fast. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. Saying? And now it's 22, and I'm bringing that song back. Yeah. Just like um, Lil Blood just had me at his birthday party Friday, and um, man, this nigga put me on after Prezi, bro. Okay. And Mr. Fab, bro. Like, I was sh shitting bricks. This is the first time I ever didn't want to perform. Like, yeah. and none of them never knew. You feel me? Like, yeah. this is probably the only time they going to know. Like, yeah. My heart, my heart was <laughs> pumping, bro. Like, the whole club singing, do better. Fab, come on. I got the North. Got I got the East. Got, got the West with me. Bro, the whole <laughs> club, bro. Like, I'm nervous as fuck. I'm like, what the fuck I'm going to do? I'm like, this nigga out of pocket, bro. Like, yeah. he know he's supposed to let me go on first. You feel me? For like, sure. bro, I'm talking about, you know, a hook, eight bars. So I did the first four bars. Your baby daddy, when I came on by the second hook, the whole club talking about, bitch, your baby daddy, boosie. I said, ooh. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> like now I know I can hang with them. You feel me? Yeah, like, for sure. So I gotta remaster that motherfucker and then re put it out. And where I think I fucked up the first time, the um the video was a mini movie. Yeah. So I think I went too long with the movie parts. Yeah, getting you the know, mic. I think I went too long with the movie parts. Well, you know, as an artist, sometimes we tend to overthink things. For sure. Sometimes we can think so hard, you know what I'm saying? Like you'd have made a hamburger a thousand times, but because you got uh, the chick that you really want to impress her and shit like that, and you trying to do this shit now, you burning it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but if she bites into the burger because she fuck with you and say, I like that. <laughs> and shout out hey, to Filthy real, Rich. Man. Shout out to for Filthy real, Rich man. because he gave me my new saying in this podcast. You know what the new one is? Man, where we at, man? <laughs> Shout out to I love you for that. Filthy, man. He used thing. it on me, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, filthy. Shout out to filthy. When my chick be cutting up and then she say something I don't like, you know what I'm saying? Where we at, man? Where we at? <laughs> One more time. Shout out to filthy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you raising your child, man. Yeah, for sure, for sure. It's in six months, man. It's That's six months for sure. It's left on me. Can I can I just give you pen numbers, man? You you did eleven and a half, man, to the head. <laughs> oh God! How was it? How is it? Hard as hell, man. Hard. You feel me? From being homeless, from my mama not fucking with me, from. Um, being from bitch house to bitch house, you feel me? From dealing with their attitudes, you know what I'm saying? From trying to 
juggle a career, you feel me, from trying to keep some money in my pocket, from walking to work, from quitting a job to want to do straight music, from now making money off nothing but music. It's like, it's been a blessing but a curse. I mean, a curse but a blessing. Yeah. Yeah, and you had your son with you the whole time, yeah, huh? Yeah, man. He done been out of hotel rooms. He done been on bitches' couch with me. Man. He been thugging it. Yeah, yeah. Thugging it. So when the lady left, when she left, when she left, did like, did she do the classic thing like uh, they say uh, niggas daddies do, like go get a loaf of bread and never come back? Uh, had me watch him and never came back. Shit like that. Yeah. It's like, you know, I'm leaving. And the cold part about it, I was sleeping on my nigga couch. Yeah. Like, I ain't even have my own, my own spot or nothing, you feel me? I was sleeping on my nigga couch. Because you was about 21 then, huh? Yeah, I had my son when I was 21, yeah. Yeah, man, that's a pretty traumatizing thing. Now, this is what I want to know. It, like, is there any, like, traces of where she at? Like, do you be chilling on Instagram, then she just pop up on Instagram or some shit? Um, well, um, her sisters and shit like that, they, like, friends of mine on Facebook and shit like that, so it ain't hard to find her, but I don't look. Gotcha, now, it's, or is... The the mama side of the family still in the life? Oh yeah, for sure. They I mean they try to reach out. They're not in the life, but they try to reach out though. You feel me? Like I don't want to do them dirty and just say like they don't. Yeah. They try to, but I be more on some shit where it's like if I let them go, then she be trying to like pop up. Like last time, she tried to pop up or whatever, and then she gave a nigga like five dollars and was like she gonna call him. Like you feel me? Like that's a disgrace to me. You feel me? Like yeah, bitch, it's like. Back then, it was like 11 years. You ain't seen this nigga in 11 years. You get this nigga $5 and tell him he's going to call him. You feel me? Like, that's the type of shit that made me mad. You feel me? And, like, I don't be around and none of that now. I start fucking with his feelings and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And then I got a um, younger son. You feel me? He don't know no better. And he be like, you don't got a mama. And shit like that to him. You feel me? So And how old is the younger son? Like, five. Gotcha. Okay. You feel me? So it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's just, I know it's shit bothering him. He don't talk about it or whatever, but it's just. It's shit like that, you feel me? Like, so where I try to keep them away from them just because they'll let her have access to them, and it's like not good access. Well, you know what? This is what I want to say because I met my father when I was 28 or 29. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say this, you know what I'm saying? I can't tell you what to do with my advice because I'm all about the family being together. Make sure that he meets that side of the family because you don't want your son to grow up and end up fucking got, one of his cousins. He got his own phone. Gotcha. He got his own phone. Gotcha, they, okay. He got numbers, you feel me? So it's just like... okay. I'm not keeping him, but I try to keep him away from the bullshit that she brings to the table. Gotcha. Because I know he leaves and it wanders. And then, oh, my mama says she go to my mama, and now he's bugging me, and then I know she's not finna come through. You feel me? Gotcha. Like, okay. Shit like that. I don't have a problem with him having access to the family and none of that shit. Gotcha. But what we're not finna do is take him to and sneak over here with her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, like, come on now. You know what I'm saying? Like, even she got his number. You feel me? But she don't call. She don't. So it's like you playing mind games with yeah. you feel me? Like I don't keep him from nobody. But if I can keep it away from the bullshit or making him fuck up in school because of what he thinking or going through shit yeah. with me because he ain't got her or nobody's like, I'll try to try my best to keep him out of that mind frame of thinking. Yeah. Try to keep him out of that mind frame of thinking. Yeah. And you heard my reasoning, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Because you don't, you don't want him to actually hook yeah, up with one sure, of his yeah, cousins sure, sure. and don't know it. No, they got his number. Like, yeah. They could reach out to him, make it, you know what I'm saying, inbox me. They could, hey, like, even when her sister did it, like, I didn't keep him away. I was just mad about the part with her. Yeah, the $5. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, damn, nigga, we get it. You from the Bay. You like I got five on it. But, nigga, <laughs> you going to have to come a little bit longer. Nigga, I mean, damn, shit. It ain't even <laughs> that, man. Pick the shit. Pick the nigga. I spend some time. Or yeah. You feel me? Like, it ain't about the money. You feel me? Like, even my daddy, you feel me? Like, I met this nigga, like, this nigga on, on, on Facebook and shit. This nigga, like. Uh, somebody will say happy birthday to me. This nigga text me happy birthday. You feel me? Like, you know shit from Facebook. You feel me? Like, and then he be like, oh, well, I'll get some money. I'm a woo dude. It ain't about no money. Nigga, come pick up your grandson. You feel me? Like, yeah. come pull up. You feel me? Like, but I don't tell him that. You feel me? Like, nigga, shit. I shouldn't have to tell you. You feel me? Like, I'm figuring this shit out, shit out as to be a father. You feel me? You should do the same. You know what I'm saying? Like, and my thing be this. You know what I'm saying? I'm grown. You still volunteering for shit you ain't going to do? And and that's my point. You still don't come through. You feel me? Like, like still. Nobody didn't ask you. You know, don't. Like, my thing is this. If you're going to lie, at least lie if I ask you about some shit and back you into the corner and you're ashamed. But don't just volunteer no shit. Exactly. You know why? Because I, I don't like, like that. that. <laughs> <laughs> Anything, bro. Because I be already prideful. I don't ask for nothing, bro. Yeah. Like, 
You know what I'm saying? I don't ask for nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'll be, I'll be prideful as fuck. Like, if I ask you for something, I must really fuck with you or I yeah. love you. You feel me? Like, oh, I think you really got my best interest to know that I'm going to have your back. You feel me? If I yeah. can get you back. But for the most part, I try not to ask for shit. You feel me? Like, I'll sit around this motherfucker be with the richest niggas in the room with not a dollar in my pocket with the utmost, with, with, a, with a higher mind frame and just feeling more better than all them niggas. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want to know something. What stops men from filing child support on their baby mama when they do it in a heartbeat? Um, I don't know what stopped men, but to be honest, I don't know what stopped me. She got like hella other kids, so I ain't hurting that bad. Okay. I mean, like, it hurt me in, like far as, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to break down some time, but like far as little money and shit, I mean, yeah. I can handle it. Gotcha. Okay, okay. Well, you know what? I'm proud of you. You know what I'm saying? Because, sure. I mean, sometimes I'll be thinking about, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't imagine raising my kid strictly by myself. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't. I, I can't even lie, though. Just me? You know what I'm saying? Shit, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> you want to elaborate on that? <laughs> I, I mean, I'm just saying, I didn't imagine it. Like, okay, gotcha. It just happened. Yeah. You feel me? Like, and I just went along with it. You feel me? Like, just went along with it. A motherfucker was damn near like looking like, damn, when's she coming back? Like, oh yeah, for sure. Call the phone, and everything. Okay. Did you make a diss record yet? No, I do that shit all the time, damn near. You feel me? Like, I, I, well, the beginning of my career, I should say, I stopped talking about her though. To be honest, like that shit. Nah, you know, I might tell a story if it's a serious song or something, but that shit, like, you know, you can only sound hurt so many times. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now this is what I want to know, son, man. When you transitioned, you know what I'm saying? Because you're from the CD era too, right? Yeah, for sure. How was the transition from the CD era to the streaming era for you? Was it easy? Um, I want to say it was... I want to say it was easier to connect to my fans rather than sitting up here going out the, and getting out the trunk. Okay. That's, that's the easy part. The harder part... It's a million of these niggas. Man. Yeah. Everybody one getting going up, pressing up CDs, and going to the park, or one carrying them with them. You had the lazy niggas. You feel me? Like they just gonna rap and that shit gonna stay in the garage. You feel me? So I would say that's the pros and the cons. Easier to get to my fans, but now I got a million niggas doing the same thing I'm doing. Could just rap in the bathroom, upload it, and yeah, you know, do some Drake ass shit go viral. And I'm really up here trying to really, you know speak and say some shit and got a nigga yeah. up here just saying anything. Just, yeah. You know? Well, that's dope, man. And check this out, though. You got the merch, right? Yeah, for sure. Our block apparel. You know what I'm saying? That's what you got on now. Yeah, for sure. Our block apparel. We got um, our block studios. We got our block buddies with the cannabis. We also um, got 4K Bay TV. You know what I'm saying? We starting up our block management. Um, we got our block kitchen. You know, we just R Block Kitchen. Yeah, yeah, you know I'm saying, shout out, boss man. What you cooking? No, nah, my boy cooking. <clears throat> I'm all on some um Unity shit. It's not your block. It's not my block. It's our block. I me? like that. So you know, what I'm saying, if you didn't have Fame Media and you should up here doing your thing and you needed the boost, I say, hey man, put that uh, R Block stamp on there. So this would be R Block Media. Then I push this shit for you for you to eat. And then you know, what I'm saying, you I like how like you. Me. I like how you baby. <laughs> I like how you baby sound like Suge Knight. <laughs> if you want to come to a podcast and you don't want certain shit all in the background of your video, come to our block. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but that's a way that, you know what I'm saying, keep me lit, but at the same time, bring yeah. you up and, you know what I'm saying, For we're sure. going to feed you and your family. Okay, so what's you know the what next saying? events, man? What's the next show? Uh, the next show is uh, May 6th. Um, I'm hosting for Lil' Kayla the Barbie and um, Journey Be the Reason. And um, after that, May 20th, me and OTF got a show at New Caribbean. Yeah. Okay, so you got some shit coming. Yep. And then also, I think May 26th, I think I got to check, bro. I think May 26th, I'm at um, Modesto with um, Young Chop. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so your summer going to be Jay lit Meast, too. Jay Meast. Too. Who? Jay Meese. Who was that? Jay Meese and Young Chop. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elaborate on who they are. Um, Young, young Meese and Young Chop. What, what, uh, what label they had? Yeah, Shady Boys. You okay. You know about the Shady Boys, man? Uh-uh. 
Come on, man. Stop playing, man. Man, I got to stay plugged Young in. Young chap, man. Come on, man. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? You got to come up here tripping, bro. <laughs> Talking about he don't know shady boys, hey, bro. And then you hit him with the filthy <laughs> Man, where we at? <laughs> man, you don't know about the shady boys, man. Where we at? <laughs> That's my niggas, though, man. Shout out Jay Meese. He looked out for me, though, yeah. man. They been doing their thing, though, like. Many, you know Make sure you give me that Instagram handle and stuff like that. That way, you got to really reach out to Young Chai. He been doing his thing out here, like popping, okay. popping. Okay, you know what I'm saying, yeah, for sure, for sure. For sure, you know what I'm saying. Like when I'm in uh, interviewing people, it'd be good to ask questions because y'all actually helping me as I go along. Because yeah. like you said, it's a million niggas. Man, it's a million, bro, a million. And you're not the only one, bro. These niggas bring me shit and show me shit. I'd be like, bro, God damn, yeah. man, another one. Yeah, and the shit might be really wrong. Yeah. You ain't never heard this nigga. You got ten million views. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ten million views though. Easy though. Like, um, have you ever heard of Keem? <laughs> nah, baby that... Keem. I listened to uh, a little bit of uh, him. I think that's like Kendrick uh, Lamar, one of his artists. I think that's he was, the new nigga, right? That they've been playing. I play. I heard some shit that he got called Lost Souls with somebody. That shit is raw. Bro, I'm gonna check it out. Lost Souls, baby Keem. Yeah, he got this dude singing. I forgot the uh, the dude singing though. The dude singing is hella raw though. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Damn. And that's crazy part about it. it might be somebody that's really popping singing right now. Yep. <laughs> yep. Like, Man, but you know, nowadays it be the impact from the song, bro. You might not even know the face. You might not know the name, but you gonna sing along to that song every time it hit the club. Yeah. Yeah. You know what somebody said? Somebody said it's so much music now that in the future it might not be no classics. Do you agree with that? No. I believe that it's always going to be classic. For sure, it's always going to be classic. I, I think a lot of shit ain't going to stick to the wall, though. No, hell no. Hell, because a lot of this shit come and go music. It's hot yeah. It's hot now, and it's, and it's old tomorrow. You know what? I was working with somebody, and you know, I was working with, I think I might have been about 37 at the time, so I had some little homegirls that worked there, and it was about 23. So I said, hey, I'm hella excited coming to work. Hey, man, you heard that new Drake shit? I said, that shit hella old. It's two weeks old. <laughs> I said, two weeks? <laughs> Whatever happened to motherfuckers Man, being on the charts for six shit, months. Bro, like, you, oh, God, bro, they be telling us, work, 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 work. You feel me? Like, and I be like, damn, this shit really don't stick no more. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. when you get that one, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I be looking for. That's why I keep making timeless and classic music. Yeah. Because when it stick, I want it to stick. You feel me? Like, you know what? I got to ask you a question. And shout out to Stevie Joe. I forgot to ask him this question last man, week. that's my brother, bro. Man, Stevie Joe, cool, huh? Man, <laughs> that's the only thing I could call for anything, brother. Told me about everything I needed to go help me when I needed to go get a PR. Tell me to go get a PR. You feel me? Like, yeah. Anything I needed it. You feel me? From I, from the first time I was doing business, he stayed solid. You know what I'm saying? Anything I needed, he came through. And then, like, Couple like last year, I talked to him like, "Bro, you be motivating me now." And just to hear that from him, bro, that's like, man, I appreciate that man so much. You feel me? Because he don't even know how much he didn't help me. You feel me? And then probably even look at it like he was helping me. Yeah, it be like that though. So that's why it's saying the Bible. You know what I'm saying? I know you like this nigga getting all biblical. That's <laughs> no, why no, you got. No, you <laughs> that's why they say you got to be important, like who you were uh, uh, performing in front of, because mm -hmm. you never know who's watching and who will really help you. You know what I'm saying? From the genuineness of their hearts. You know what I'm Facts. saying? Because like in this industry, right? This fucks me up. Naturally, I'm a friendly person. I, you could probably tell that how we met outside. Yeah, I'm a for sure, so. yeah, I mean, you, you, you cool ask, as fuck. you ask me, you know what I'm saying? What I like to do, I might say, go downtown and meet people. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I that had works. to learn that it that was works. motherfuckers in the industry. You know what I'm saying? That don't fuck with that. Yeah. Like, man, this nigga, man. You know. That's why a lot of niggas don't fuck with me. Yeah, but it's not political with me. I'm not mad at that side because I fuck with. Yeah. And I'm not mad at you because I fuck with that side. Yeah. We all going to get some money. Yeah. You know I mean, like, it's unity. That's what our block stands for. Not your block, not my block, but our block. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get together and we're going to get some money. You feel me? But that's why a lot of niggas don't fuck with me. And I, if I'm me, to be honest, and I think that's the reason why, because it's not fuck them. It's not fuck you. It's, you know, we all as one. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. I you know higher. Than me, I don't see me no higher than you. I don't give a fuck who it is, blue checks, million followers, whatever. I don't treat them niggas like no other special way. No niggas pay me, niggas, all type of shit. I don't do none of that dick riding shit, none of that shit. You feel me? We all as men, you feel me? So With that mind state, do you find yourself in the middle of stuff, always trying to mediate and squat no. shit? Uh, f for some people, yes, but for the most part, no. 
Gotcha. You know, um, it's just really I, I find myself as being more respected. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? By those who you need to be respected by and not in front of a camera from the hell of motherfuckers you don't know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Okay. And I was going to ask you this question that I asked Stevie Joe before I forget because, you know, yeah, we get ahead. deep. When you think about gangster rap music, right? Mm -hmm. Would you say that's the only genre of rap music that hasn't significantly got better since it started? It got worse. It got worse. Damn, I never heard that. It got worse. You don't like new gangster rap? I just said I didn't like it. I said it got worse. Okay. I just said I didn't like it. Yeah, I yeah. might make a song that fit in with this shit one day. I don't know. You feel me? It's just to feed that type of people with that mind frame. You feel me? I try to make music for everybody. I try to touch everybody, but it has got worse. You feel me? In what way so? Mm, just by, you know, uh, we used to be the hustlers. Now we're the dope fiends. Oh. Yeah. It used to be get money, sell the dope, sell the dope, get money. Yeah. Now it's take the dope, take the dope, get some money, take the dope. Yeah, yeah. When one of these niggas sold some dope in it. <laughs> it's dope around. They, <laughs> they, use they use it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you don't hear niggas talking about getting no money no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Gucci probably was the last nigga. Gucci oh, oh, no, I'll take that back. Um, What's my boy name from Detroit? Got him fucked Payroll. up. Payroll. Payroll Giovanni, man. He gon', you know what I'm saying? Hustler music, man. That's my, that's my brother, Chief Maney over there, I don't man. know him, but you know what I want to say, Elevate? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> and the payroll Giovanni, shout out to him. If he man, ever picked me up from on, the airport, man, I'm going to look around. You know what I'm going to say? Where we at? <laughs> man, where we at, man? Where we at? <laughs> That's one nigga, bro. Yeah. That's one nigga going to tell you about some hustling shit. That's probably the only nigga right now. Yeah, I think he was in the interview, uh, a, a video with a fur coat on or some shit. Man, that nigga stay sauced up. Yeah. And shout out to Amtrak, you know what I'm saying? It's coming through, you know what I'm saying? Maybe somebody got some packs Get on that motherfucker. Get your Amtrak tickets now. <laughs> <laughs> but show, man, so you got seven albums, right? Seven. Which one do you think is your best one, your best body of work? Um, I want to say East Oakland Diddy. Go get that out now, streaming East Oakland Diddy, man, out now, man. Featuring Fred O'Bain, Sugar Free, Mr. Fab, Capolo, Zay Bang, you know what I'm saying, you know. And Sugar Free, how did you get in touch with the pimp of the year right under Drew down? Because that's my boy, Drew, you know what I'm saying? Man, <laughs> to be honest, it's just really growing up with him, with my um, stepdad. He's playing music. His shit all crazy, you feel me? Just yeah. really growing up on him and then not seeing no, um, seeing nobody in the Bay far as my age, do no music with him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I went and picked him up with Mr. Fab, and we came over the head, my brother Lunacy. Yeah. You know what I like about Sugar Free? It's straight pimping, though. It's straight pimping. You know what I'm saying? Facts. But you know what I like about Drew Down? It's pimping and selling dope. Man, like, he might have, man. like, he might, like, hey, man, go get a rock out my whole booty, man. <laughs> <laughs> Go get, a, go get a rock oh, out, God, my Hey, man. baby, 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 why don't you go bend and down? Drew, and Drew down <laughs> real Oakland, huh? Uh, for sure. Come on, man. Hey, look, check this out, though, man. This is my story about Drew. Cause, man, shout out to Drew, right? So this is back in the Mingles days. Uh -huh. <laughs> so he came in, and we was all there. He said, hey, man, what's up? I said, what's up? He said, hey, what's up, nephew, man? You know, we got some weed around this motherfucker. <laughs> I said, me? He said, man, let me see him. I pulled him out. He said, damn, these is little nigga. Damn, man, what the fuck is these, man? Three for 15? <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, but they three for 20. I feel good today. He said, man, give me these little motherfuckers. He gave me the money. He took three steps. I said, Drew, he turned around and said, yes. <laughs> I said, I got way more hoes than you. He looked me up and down and said, never. <laughs> he took three more steps. I said, Drew. He said, yes. I said, I got way more hoes than you. He said, never. <laughs> he took three more steps. I said, Drew. He said on the semi dose, he said, yes. <laughs> I said, I got way more hoes than you. He looked me up and down and said, never. never. <laughs> man, shout out Drew down, man. man. Shout out Drew, man. <laughs> shout out motherfucking Drew, motherfucking. Shout out Drew down, man. You know what I'm saying? I you, ain't too young. You know what's so crazy about Drew down and three times crazy in the loonies? What's up? That was damn near like one of my favorite clicks. Hmm. And, uh, uh, and Sido. That was the best era. Yeah. You know what I'm 
That was the best era. And um, three times crazy. Yep, three times crazy. Like when they had the mob going. Man, come on, man. Pistol Blazing is one of my favorite songs. That's an East Oakland. That's an East Oakland yeah, motherfucking stacking classic. Stacking chips, nigga. East Oakland. Ow. Yeah. Do you like stacking chips more than Real Talk 2000? I like stacking stack chips for sure. That's my number one. Number one? That's my number Is one. Real Talk 2000, uh, you, t- you taking Real Talk 2000 or you taking Sneak Aside or Buy Cake? Which one was... Um... I have to go with the group. The group? Yeah, I'm going to have to go with the group. Okay, because I like both of them. Yeah. You know what's crazy, though? Like, when you like when you get in a group, right? It seemed like when you make What's mu- the first one Key came out with? Sneakers Idol. Tech living, treating me good, and I'm still in my motherfucking hood. My negative words. Where it hurt, where it hurt, where That's it hurt. That's where I don't really want to go? What was that one? I don't know which one that, that one is. That's what, like, the one I'm talking about got lifestyle. We live on it. That was one of my best um, solo kick ones, the one with that one on there. Yeah. I used to play the shit out there. I don't really want to go. Okay. I don't really want to stay. No. That's my favorite one. Earlier, right? I, I was hoping that you was going to forget about this. Matter of fact, why are we talking about groups? Did you ever rap in a group? Um, Besides my group, R Block. No. Okay. Yep, and that's just we we really come together and we put out compilation and shit like that. That's the only group I done rap with. As far as um really like a group, band, group, hey, me, you and us and all together, twenty no. Okay, so it's more like a click in a family. Yeah, for sure. I mean not a click in a family, just you know, hella labels get together, just R Block. R Block really built on like hella labels. Shout out to Al Gamer. He came in with that name to be honest. But um like, <laughs> Al the Gamer. Yeah, for Shout sure. Shout out to Al the Gamer. And it, and it used to be just hella labels, you feel me? Like hella different artists, and we just come together and call ourselves R Block because it was for unity, you know what I'm saying? Putting some unity in Oakland. Okay. You know what I'm saying? LB Stay Key was fucking with us, all type of shit, you feel me? Like, and um, that's basically how that rapping with a group came about. You know okay. Saying? Rapping with different labels, different artists, and stuff like that, but never one solid group. You, know? you got any people on your label? Um, Yeah, we got a couple. Okay, name them. Shout them um, out. Shout out to Repos- Repossession Ren. We uh, managing him and shit right now. Repossession Ren. Repossession Ren, man. You know what I'm saying? And go get, go get that half gorilla, half goat just dropped. That name you know is off saying? the hook. Man, that's my boy, man. He go crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? How would you best describe his style? Um, young, just new age. New age, there you go. You know they got it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. That new gen- age. A genre called new age. Gotcha. Yeah, but I would call it new age. Yeah, because, you know, he a youngster, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? He's not too young, but he, you know, he got that young flow. Okay. Saucy, raw, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And who else you got on there? Um, 600, got me, of course, Loon, Chief Maney, um, who else we got? Pop Game, shout out Pop Game, also new age, you know what I'm saying? Really, um, really nice music type making ass youngster though. You know what I'm saying? Not just talking about anything. You got any women on there? Um, to be honest, we trying to work out something with Keija. Okay, gotcha, you gotcha. Know what I'm we trying to work out something with Keija, um, the singer. And um, Seminary Tiff fucking with us. You know what I'm saying? Um, we got a couple of motherfuckers. Cali Cole. Cali Cole, can't forget Cali Cole, man. I ain't around shooter, man. Um, man, shout out to R Block, man. We got a couple motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? We got a couple people working, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to R Block. I don't want to forget nobody, but I feel like I'm forgetting some people. Gotcha. Well, if you ever forget them, they can always come to R Block. <laughs> <laughs> Where we at? <laughs> Where we at? <laughs> <laughs> But show hey, me. But you know, you know what I'm saying? You know, we just, you know, all trying to push each other, you know, trying to do better, you know what I'm saying? Trying to come up out of the situations we in. Yeah, 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 okay. So what you got coming next, man? What you got coming next? Um, I just dropped Oakland Housing Part 2, featuring Mari Taylor, uh, featuring R.E.B. and uh, Stevie Joe. And then uh, I'm working on East Oakland Diddy Part 2. And, um... 
Just drop a single after single. Black Queen drop Mother's Day. You know what I'm saying? Go get that ASAP. You know what I'm saying? I just really shouting out, giving love to our mothers, our single mothers, and every mother going through it. You know what I'm saying? And um, right now that's really it. You feel me? And just dropping them as they come and go. And also I'm gonna do um Section Eight too. Also, but I haven't um put it together yet. And this is what I want to know: Do you tell stories? Yeah, that's that's kind of me. Every in the A song, you know what I'm saying? There's gonna be a story or something to it where you could see it and also listen to it. Gotcha. Is the art of storytelling almost lost in hip hop? Um, it's almost coming back, I should say. It was lost, but it's coming back. Okay. You know what I'm Look it's at Con B back. trying to con me. Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga trying to fill a mind. Hey, hey, when he talk to you and he trying to get his point across, his eyes light up like this. It looks like it's lost, but it's coming. <laughs> I said, oh shit, I done forgot what the fuck I was talking about. That nigga said, it was lost, but it looks like it's coming oh, back. Hey, <laughs> man, you heard that new J. Cole CD? Dreamville? No. Nope. Man, you tripping, man. Man, I gotta listen to that Dreamville, man. And I ain't even know hip hop, hip hop head. Like, yeah. Hibbity, but it's like, it wasn't even really like. J. Cole oh. tight, though. Bro, the, the, One the, of the Raws. The, the Dreamville album Raw, you know, that's his label. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, like, he got some nice, cool talent. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's real hip hop as far as paint pictures and really lyrical. Like, you know what I'm saying? You like, I see you like that type of shit. Yeah. Go listen to it, bro. You won't be disappointed. I so, downloaded it. So this is what I'm going to ask you. Mm -hmm. Who are the five rawest rappers from the South? If you was going to say you was going to make a Mount Rushmore, the five uh, rawest rappers from the South. Because you said you like Southern music, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, grew up on Master P and shit and all that type of shit. You feel me? You know what I'm about to say, right? <laughs> oh! <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> but for sure, got to give it to Master P. Um, Soldier Slim. BG. Boosie. And you got one left? J Prince. I'm talking about rappers. That, 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 Oh, rappers? Well, then I would give it to Scarface. Gotcha. But I still ain't. That's that ain't even enough though. You got more than yeah, that. Yeah, definitely. Though, you trying to put me on spotlight, man? Well, I you don't know. like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but it's it's it's, it's many more. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, for sure. But for sure. Yeah. Well, my favorite five from the South. I should say my Come favorite on. five. Come on. I got Wayne. Mm -hmm. Scarface. Mm -hmm. Andre D. Thousand. Uh, I like Rick Ross's music a lot. And Gucci Mane. Miami and the South. Miami South. Miami is damn near the southern as you can get. Yeah. Florida is at the bottom of the map. You're right. You're I mean, you go any Florida. further, you're in the fucking ocean. Yeah. <laughs> and when you get there, you know what you're going to say? Man, where yeah, we yeah, at? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, man. Before we get out of here, man, tell people where they could uh, find your shit at. Um, follow me on Instagram, combi 500 man. I got combimusic.com, man. Um, combi 500 on Twitter, combi 500 on Snap, combi on Facebook, man. combi 500 that's C-O-N-B 11500. Man, thanks for making it. You know what I'm saying? On time, you feel me? Hey, come on, man. I'm always on time, man. You know what I'm saying? Feel me? I'll sit outside and smoke a blunt or something before I be late. You know but sure, well, I got to. That's one thing. My time is everything. I got to do my outro like this. Will you wrapped up another episode for I Need to Know, and I am LDs. Wow. Also known, Lords of One, for another episode I Need to Know. And as usual, wow. come on.